everybody, Tanisha here coming to you guys with another video. And in this video, I am doing a unboxing and just flipping through the awesome creative words studio sparkling bits of writing to workbook now you already know this introduction I'm not going to be showing you everything um, if you do want to know how we used it if you do want to know how well it worked in our home guys go to www.tanishakemp.com you see it on the screen there you guys can find out how we use the creative writing book this sparkling bits of writing book two from creative word studio all right guys don't forget thumbs up this video share 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 with a friend guys another homeschooling family or somebody who is looking to enhance their child's writing curriculum the first thing that i see in this unboxing is a wonderful handwritten note i'm all big on handwritten sentiments and this is from the author so a big thank you for the opportunity to review this and for letting me share this with my audience on my blog on my youtube Instagram and all those great things. I appreciate it when companies allow me to look at their information and to share that. And the reason I do is because everybody does not have to do that. They don't have to afford you opportunities to check out their products and offer you opportunities to check out their products. Um, so I appreciate that. The time it takes me to make these videos is always worth it when you guys write me, message me, email me and tell me, hey, thank you for sharing that with me or hey, I was looking for that and it worked. And I hope that this product does that for you. We've enjoyed using it so far. So um, this book right here. So in this book are 75 writing lessons and these are all written from the Christian perspective. I know that is so important for a lot of us who are homeschooling, um, who are Christian homeschoolers. These are written from the Christian perspectives. Okay. And this is the other part of all of those lessons. Guys, I'm sorry, my lighting, it's been raining in the Lone Star State for three weeks straight, no exaggeration. So I am trying my best with the little bit of daylight I have in the break of these storms. So that's the rest of the lessons, the other half, 75 lessons. Again, these are all written from a Christian perspective. And when you open up the book, you're going to see that it starts with a uh, mini writing exercise. And those are usually just fill in the blanks, just kind of, you know, getting the day going, getting everything worked through. Your students are practicing free writing. They're doing their mini exercises. They're learning about things from professional authors, um, learning how an author writes a book. So this is not just a writing course where you're just learning the basics of writing, how to put together a sentence and this and those things. You're learning from an author how an author thinks when they write, how they expound upon things. It's one thing to say, Shirley walked into the door, but Shirley walked into the door and her face, so facial expressions and all those things, her body movements, the sounds, all those things that, that a good author can include in one sentence and make you really feel like you're there. That's what your child is going to be learning when they're doing this. So here we have another um, just mini writing exercises. Why should everyone shop at Walmart? It gives you an example and some reminders on how to do that. And as I continue to flip through the writing um, exercises, they're going to get harder, obviously, right? This is for seventh, again, seventh through ninth graders. So you're going to want them to get harder and it's up to you for how you use them. Sometimes we use them as warm ups. Um, since this book does last so long, I figured that we would do a little bit. My son is, um, I've already promoted them all in their grades, but he'll be going to eighth grader. He's already in eighth grade. So this will be something that we can use this year and next year. Just some warm ups, some journal writing, stuff like that. I like to try to keep him writing. I like to try to keep him expounding on his experiences through words because I feel like good writers are good communicators. It's helping you to learn to use your vocabulary. It's helping you to learn how to say things in a manner that can be understood. Not just learning how to communicate, get the words out, but I want my children to be effective and efficient communicators. And so I think that this writing book and this um, curriculum will be very, very helpful in making sure that that happens. So I really appreciate this book. And you know what, guys? I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to show you. Just so again, a little flip through. If you want to know how we use this in our homeschool, again, go to www.tanishakemp.com. See what we did there. See how we used that. See how we came through and made sure um, that Bear was able to use this for the time that we've had it, finishing up his seventh grade year and how we're going to use this in his eighth grade year and ninth grade year.